shall I do? I need help from someone, but I don't know who. Because I was so offended at the age of 15, and now I'm dying in a very dramatic scene. I despise kids in the orphanage. They are such a burden. I beat them so much, my fists they are hurting. Oh, mine too. I'm very much enjoying this tea. Let's check in Christina. Won't you accompany me? Yeah, I agree. We haven't seen her in hours. But we must return quick before my tea gets too sour. Look at Christina, she's on the bed dead. Look at the evidence, her palish green head. She has no pulse, there's no way she's alive. There was never a person with no pulse that survived. Of course it is, my heavenly child. Anything you want, take it. Go wild. Assuredly, one day you'll be back with me. However, for now, you have a choice, you see. You may stay with me and never return, or go back where suffering and compassion you will learn. Souls have influenced me in my ways, so I will return to earth for the rest of my days. There you will suffer a great deal. Many torments that are unreal, but I will not die from their effect and set an example for young intellects. This will lead sinners to convert and forgive their crimes which souls it hurt. After the life of you so astonishing, you will return to me, God, and sing. Oh, Christina, her life was a joke. Wouldn't it be crazy if that dead girl awoke? <laughs> what in God's name? Did you hear what I said? I cannot believe it. I thought she was dead. She lay there cold. Her body was still. I just can't believe it. This cannot be real. The sight is amazing. I just can't believe how she arose. I just can't conceive it. I'm astonished, appalled, and simply amazed. How could any person return from the grave? Listen, my people. Hear what I tell. I have been to purgatory, heaven and hell. I have spoken to God, and he's given me his lessons. But now I'm here to give you his blessings. 